Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. And this is just a little puzzle generator that I made. And, and I'll put a link to the bottom of this. Uh, I've already got a link on the video I did, but I made a I made the puzzle and then I grouped it all together. And then I'm gonna take this picture of this fine animal and go to object and power clip, place inside framing because this is grouped together, it'll frame it around. And, you know, you can play with it, you can edit it, you know, move him down where his ears are more visible, and then put finish. Now, what's so cool about this, and the reason I decided to make the video, this would really look good print on a t-shirt or something. Let's go to group and ungroup. Now, every pieces of the puzzle are a little bit where you can break them apart. That would be a really good look. And I don't have much artistic ability as far as how far you'd want to space them or, you know, if you want to put a little twist to it or, you know, whatever. And you could also, if the animal didn't take up the whole, you know, like if you didn't want to mess with his ears, you could grab that whole line and do something like that and get a whole different effect depending on your picture. You wouldn't want to do that to this dog just because the fact that it's cutting off his ears. But if it was something else, you know, you could take just those four or three or whatever. Pretty cool effect, I think, printed on a T-shirt because it doesn't have to be a puzzle. It just looks like a puzzle, and it would print like that. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.